नमस्कार वाई वी हैव टेट्स इन साइड अवर माउथ ह्यूमन बॉडी अ मास्टर पीस ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एवरी थिंग इज बीन डिजाइंड इन अवर बॉडी विथ अ रीजन बाई द नेचर विदाउट एनी रीजन देर इज नो फंक्शनिंग ऑफ अवर बॉडी टिट्स वी कैन बाइट इट वी कैन कट इट वी कैन ग्राइंड इट देर इज अ मॉइस्चर सिस्टम थ्रू अवर सलीवा ग्लैंड एंड देन वी कैन अलगल्फ अवर फूड what a beautiful thing we have so if we chew our food properly before engulfing it our food will not only get digested but we will come to know what is the exact amount of food is required for our body obesity it is a great concern amongst everybody obesity is we have consumed more food and the energy which is being developed from that food we have not utilized it properly in our day to day work that is why that energy has been converted into fat and that's why we are gaining weight so if we want to have a good uh, healthy body then we should chew our food properly there is a uh, research paper where it is shown that we if we take the food to our mouth and if we chew it some 20 to 30 times before engulfing it it gives a satisfaction to the brain that yes i have taken my food sumptuously and i am happy that i have taken my food correctly so this will not only trigger our brain that what kind of food i am having but it will also give a satisfaction a self satisfaction that i have taken my food seal batta this is an innovation or invention in our ancient days but the same invention or innovation was being derived from this natural process how in seal batta also some of the pulses or some of the seeds we have seen that we cannot grind it raw in our mouth we need to process it outwardly and then we can use it only after cooking it so seal batta have used the same procedure the stone is going to and forth we are putting some water to the to moist the uh, the amount and then we are using that masala for our uh, cooking so if we want our children to invent something or to innovate something then that is the wonderful thing is we can allow our child that is self consciousness and nature whatever activity our children are doing they should be conscious about it and at the same time they should be connected to nature small children when the tits first come all the mothers are very worried at that time we stop milking to the baby and we try to introduce solid foods solid food means a slice of cucumber or a slice of carrot or a slice of small roti so that they keep on chewing it what to our wonders we will see they will first try to lick it so that they will understand that what this object is all about so at that time we should not give them any plastic or any non living thing let the brain understand what they are licking after licking only they will chew it see the beauty of the brain they will immediately not chew it slowly we will see after some time the baby has got well accustomed to chewing here some mothers will say that my child is vomiting 
So I will request to introduce this solid food when my child is hungry. So when the child is hungry, there is an inner urge from inside and that urge is a trigger for us to introduce solid food for our children. Once they are habituated to this chewing, you will see any food you give it to them, they will be in a position to digest it. This chewing will help them to understand what food they are having and what food the teeth is going to chew it even for the future and brain will have all the knowledge of all the variety of food we have introduced. That's why doctors will also say that please introduce all food to your children. So chewing, biting, licking, grinding, these are all activity of our children. So you don't worry that whether if your child has taken only one slice of cucumber, that is our perspective. Now from, from baby perspective, it is a new food for the stomach, it is a new thing for the stomach, brain need to understand what is this food, what kind of enzymes the brain need to secrete it in order to digest it. So this all procedure mechanism happens inside the baby and within few days we will see baby is well accustomed to all the food habits. The same thing we can take care for our senior citizens also. Senior citizens, after some age, we will see that uh, their uh, teeth fade away. That's why in ancient days, they are, if we have seen senior citizens, their teeth were not only shiny but strong till some age. So whenever we see our teeth are shining, we should be concerned about our teeth are also strong. Might be that's why in our ancient days, early morning when they get up, they always hold a twig from maybe a guava tree and they go to their basic uh, routines of the morning, basic morning routines. So at that time, our body, uh, the chewing of the twig makes our saliva glands ready for the next step, that is the food. Because once we finish our food, we go for work. So these are the small, small activities we have seen. It was being introduced by our ancient days, but to keep us healthy. In our uh, senior citizens, if we see teeth have uh, faded away or it has started fallen away, then we should introduce some uh, soft food or the food which they can chew it through their gum. We will see some of the foods, it will take time to, to moist it, to chew it through their gum. But believe me, they can have the food. But for that, that needs patience. That food is absolutely good for them. So we have to keep patience. And if we will see, they will have only one roti or one very less food as much it is required for the body. So we should not see every time from our perception, but it is always for the children or the senior citizen perception that how much food actually they need from their body. So they are introduced to uh, the different mechanisms so that they can understand that how much their body needs it. In our uh, all excavations uh, through our archaeological survey of India, we have seen different kind of utensils we have found it, but we have never found a spoon. Because spoon always makes our, uh, make a habit of engulfing the food and also we are habituated to have the uh, liquid foods. So if we want to keep our teeth healthy, we should always chew whether it is a fruit or it is a solid food and if it is a semi-solid food but still we need to feel the food before we engulf it.
without feeling the food if we engulf it our brain will demand more and more and more as a result we will again gain obesity so with our uh, children and with our senior citizens we should have a lot of patience a lot of observations and we will see they are keeping not only healthy but they are smiling with their lovely teeth jai bharat